Hello, my nerds, and welcome back to the final episode of The Legend of Dragoon right here on Missledyne Online. What's up? That's me. That's my channel. Thank you guys so much for clicking on the final Legend of Dragoon video. In the last episode, we did everything that we could here in the moon that never sets, including tackling all of our heroes past anything that they were doubting, uh, wrapping up their stories with a bow as if the God of Destruction itself knows that they're going to die and wants them to... Uh, to, I don't know, have some peace at the end of it all? Very strange. Anyways, welcome to the digital world. We are heading to the very last area in the entire game. This is it. From here on out, only three bosses remain. And a huge shout out to those of you watching in the very last premiere. I've sincerely enjoyed hanging out with you guys and watching the series along with you. Anyways, right here, we can find one of the last chests in the game, unless, of course, your inventory is full. Get rid of a gravity grabber because we're going to pick up a gravity grabber. Perfect. Also, I wanted to take a moment to talk about some of the the reason why I actually collect the burning wave, the frozen jet, the downburn, all that jazz. It's because they are the they're they don't require you to mash the X button and they kind of represent our heroes, the seven dragoons with the seven elements. Uh, and I think it's just, it helps to have a perfect save file with one of each of those, uh, you know, you can't buy them. You can only get, grind them off enemies here in the moon that never sets. Uh, so I don't know. It just feels like more of a, a, a perfect save to have those and the repeatable items in our inventory. The reason I have two of each is because uh, I'm going to be using them in the final fight. Anyways, you'll notice that all of these pictures as we proceed are little areas it looks like uh, this one uh below us looks like a town and uh, a building in Sergio. it looks like lohan right there next to us it's also worth mentioning that in this area you can actually re-encounter the uh, uh double double zero parts or double o parts the unique monster that we found outside of lohan all those ages ago that we used to farm gold and look at this room absolutely incredible of course we do have a save point over here that we can use and i would recommend it because we have a boss fight coming up but look at neat in the background the tragic vi wait a minute my world my future my heart who is it my world my future my heart it is talking directly to our minds Dart. Oh no. Is it Shauna? As this virage appears in front of us, the tragic village of Neat actually turned into this horrible visage of a virage. Let's get it. A virage of a virage. Anyways, we want to make sure that we're fully equipped, ready to go, and we are ready to proceed. And we have a really, really easy boss fight coming up, my friends. Look at that. What? What's this? It's a super virage. I guess he is acting as a gatekeeper to protect the god of destruction. I don't care what it's wait. <laughs> I don't. I don't care what is waiting for us. That's yeah. I don't either. Let's go. So this, my friends, is a battle against a complete super virage. A perfect, a perfect specimen of virage. We've actually fought one of these optionally in Cadessa before, but that one was heavily destroyed and it only had 10 turns to do what it could do before it self-destructed. This one has not been defeated by Kansas. This is this is here guarding the core, the embryo of the God of Destruction itself. We are right off the bat gonna go ahead and do a speed down on the body of the Virage here. You'll actually notice that we have three different parts. We have the head, the arm and the body the arm has about 3000 health the head has about uh, uh the head has about 10000 and the body has about 15000 here's the thing if you kill the head you have to deal with its uh its self destruct basically if you kill the body though it just disappears so i thought i thought i would bring that up we're actually going to make this fight really really fast uh it'll shoot some laser beams at you it'll shoot uh it'll attack you with its hand It'll summon tentacles from the ground and smack you with it. Pretty much things that we've seen before. It also has a really cool ability where it will actually... I'm going to actually use this on the head because I'm curious to see how much damage the self-destruct does. Might as well, right? Uh, it does this really, really cool attack where it, it basically like looks like it absorbs all of these planets, an entire galaxy, and then uh, shoots it back at us. It's super cool. We'll go ahead and throw a power up on Miranda because, you know, you know what's coming. 
Uh, we're probably not going to see this thing. Okay. And it also does this, which we've seen many times before. Uh, and it does a little bit of damage to everybody in the party. And this is the tentacle. We've also seen this from the optional boss fight. Really, the only cool attack that it does is the galaxy one where it absorbs all the galaxies and then fires. That one's really cool. We'll go ahead and throw a speed up on Miranda. And then we're going to call this fight a day. Yeah, I mean, what do you expect? I'm level 60. Two hundred and twenty-six percent or so on that Psych Bomb X for 9,999 damage to every single part of this enemy. You'll hear that the arm actually just was destroyed and the bed, the head, the bed, the head will now self-destruct. That, my friends, is the Super Barrage boss fight. Now, like I said, you could attack the body and it won't do, it won't do this. But then you miss on the beautiful animation. And I'm very curious to see how much damage this actually does to a maxed out party. Nothing! We saved ourselves like 6,000 points of damage just by doing that. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Don't worry. We have two more boss fights of the entire game left for us. We get 300 gold for winning and 15,000 experience in case, you know, you're a pleb and you need it. Was the Super Virage that we defeated in reality Shauna? I don't think so. Why are you so sure? We... Well... Dart, pull yourself together. <sighs> Alright. It's just a little nerve-wracking considering, you know, that potentially that could have been Shauna! Anyways, we want to proceed even deeper. Right before us stands the core of the moon. This is near the end of the game. We have another save point here that we can use. And we also have a chest that we can grab. This one contains a detonate arrow, the final weapon that we can get for Miranda. In fact, that was the last chest in the entire game. We've gotten all of them, my friends. Miranda can go ahead and equip this. What's really cool about the detonate arrow, arrow is it can attack all. Of course, it doesn't raise our attack by that much, but it attacks everybody. It's an AOE arrow, which is super cool. Anyways, let's move on, finally, to the core. Look at that. Can't believe it. We're at the end of the Legend of Dragoon. Shauna! Oh, no, no, wait, don't take that. Zeke, you don't deserve to use spirits. You say it even after this. Oh no, the red-eyed dragon still recognizes you. This is the truth. And the annihilation of the world that is about to occur is the truth as well. Dad, stop it. The power is not generated for that. Everything was born to die. It's the same for spirits or the world. Learn through your body. Stop! And now we are thrust into battle against Dart's father, Rose's ex-lover, Ziegfeld, with 12,000 health and fire elemental. He is the Red-Eyed Dragoon. Dart is no longer capable of transforming into a Dragoon, but lucky for us, we do have the red GG armor still equipped, so he's going to be taking very little damage. And see, here is going to fight exactly like you would expect from the Red-Eyed Dragon. Almost the exact same animations with a very cool looking sword. It's also worth mentioning that he does not use the move Explosion, although it is in the game. It's actually in the Japanese version that they end up using it. They don't use it in this version whatsoever. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and throw a speed down on Ziggy Boy here. And of course, as you would expect, we're going to be doing all of the things we can do. Speed down, power down, all of that. His health, uh, his, his magic defense and his physical defense are about the same. But we're still going to try to wail on him with some stuff here. I'm actually going to go ahead and speed up. Uh, well, let's go ahead and power up. You know what? Let's power up Miru.
Dart's going to go ahead and speed up Miru as well. Again, he only has 12,000 experience or uh, 12,000 health. So if we can do some pretty cool things, this might be an easy fight. Miranda's is going to go ahead and use a Psych Bomb X, even though she does not have the power up on her. Low percentage there, but should still do a pretty respectable amount of damage. What? Was not expecting that much damage. Well, goodbye, Zeke. Guys, I gotta be real with you. I was not expecting the fight to go like that. The time has come. I no longer need this flesh. What? Melbu Frama. That's right, my friends. Zeke wasn't Zeke. We get 400 gold and 20,000 experience for that fight. Unfortunately, uh, well, that was, I, I honestly, we, we, d we're, you know, I, I, listen, I've never been 60 before for the end. I am the famous Melbu Frama, the supreme leader of the Wings. I've been waiting for this moment for over 10,000 years. Why? You must have been defeated by Zeke. <laughs> it's true that the sword of that man penetrated me, but what vanished is only my flesh. I cast a petrifying spell on the man, at the same time, I transmigrated my soul to the spirit. The sublime soul is immortal. How long have you been manipulating my dad? At that moment, I re-entered the light. The, the first, first light after 11,000 years. years. When, when the, the black monster came to meet, that, that foolish soul tried to release the power of the dragoon without, without knowing that I was waiting for that, that moment. So, it was then. I, I was released from, from the spirit and revived in order, in order to obtain an eternal body that is proper for an immortal soul. And, and now, I am becoming a god. What does that mean? Wait. That's right. Melbu uses his magic to pull Shayna out at the one moment that it's about to become the Virage Embryo and Melbu Frama himself becomes the God of Destruction. Hey. Which is lucky for us, he just saved Shauna. Is he merging with the Virage Embryo? Is he going to be the god instead of Shauna? You are right. I have taken the flesh of God of I am the god himself. A god? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. Lloyd! You're alive! I cannot die with the wrong god still around. There is no space for you in my utopia. Oh my, I thought you were dead. You fell from at the end of this three, but here you are alive. That's right, we get to control Lloyd. I'm just kidding. Could you imagine though if the entire, no. Dart and Lloyd versus Melbu Frama. Melbu Frama. You forgot our supernatural spirit and pursued your own interests. Unforgivable. Destroy yourself and preserve my vision. Yeah! You 
No! Lloyd! I thought he was doing so well. We don't get any experience for that fight, obviously, because we just got a boost kick. What? What is this? <laughs> it's the Dragoon Spirit of the Divine Dragon and the Dragon Buster. Are you here to give us this? <laughs> Don't get conceited. I just ended up here while I was pursuing my own ideal. Yeah, right. His birth will be the death of the world. Hurry up. Stop him. Farewell, people who confront the fate of Soa. And we get the Divine Dragoon Spirit. And the Dragon Buster, the best weapon in the game for Rose. Rose, officially with that, becomes actually one of the strongest attackers in the entire game because of that one weapon that she just got. If we go ahead and check out the Dragon Buster, we can see it does 242. That's almost 60 attack more than what she currently has with the Gladius. Absolutely crazy. Unfortunately, she doesn't actually get the animation of the Dragon Buster in battle, which is too bad. But if you look down at our Dragoon Spirits, you will see that the, the Red Dragoon is gone. And instead, we are left with the Divine Dragon Spirit. That's right. Dart can now turn into the Divine Dragoon. We can check on Zeke here, Dad, who wasn't evil. Trust us to take care of him. I will defeat him. Miru? Miru. I was gonna give you a little tour, but I ended up coming all the way here. But I was right. I was right in following Dart. I realized it. In this world, there are lots of people living with lots of thoughts, so that there are lots of fights, but there is happiness and joy as well. This is such an awesome world. I won't let him destroy it. I'm totally ready to go. Oops. I won't let him destroy this awesome world. Totally ready to go. All right, what about Shauna? Can we talk to her? Shauna, wait for me a little. Rose. Rose, are you ready? Yes. Any time. She must be pretty upset, to be honest with you. Albert. My friend. My king. We have been together since the moon gym was taken and Lavitz passed away. We have fought, laughed, cried, and walked together all the way here. We have to end the walk here. For the sake of the goal that led us here. And for the sake of all living creatures. Now, let's go. Hatchel, Granddad. Dart, you look just like me when I was young. Do you, did you notice? Yes. I didn't understand my daughter's pain at all. That's why I dragged it around until now. Shauna is the chosen girl, as the soul to destroy the world. When she discovered it, nobody but Shauna suffered as much. When Shauna comes around, I don't know where we will be. But I know one thing. You are the only one who can ease Shauna's pain. But it won't be realized unless we stop the Wingly who wants to be a god. Now, let's finish it up. I'll pound my secret art into his fat belly. All right. Miranda, sacred sister of Milisezu. When I decided to go with you, Queen Teresa told me to learn the meaning of the fate that Soa gave us. This is what I think. Fate belongs to those who are living. We could destroy the fate that somebody else made up. And this is the moment. Dart, let's do it. 
stop him for all living creatures and their fate. Kongle, my giganto friend. Emperor Dole would often say, to make a world where all species are equal, a strong leader is needed. But Kongle knows, anybody can make a world where all species are equal. Even you are not Dragoon. Gigantos, humans, Monentos, Wingleys, anybody. Anybody having the feeling can do. But Kongo found out, anybody can destroy the world too. Gigantos, humans, Wingleys, gods, anybody. Kongo found out one more thing. We can stop him. Dragoons can save the world. Kongo, hero of Gigantos. Kongo doesn't fear God. We can stop him. Dragoons can save the world. My friends, we have one battle left in the Legend of Dragoon. But it's worth mentioning we can go back and save. I also thought that I'd point out that going back to the save point, which I already did, you can see that this previous map now is a completely different color now that Malbu Frama has stepped in. And all that stands before us is the final boss of the entire game, the God of Destruction, as he has now become Melbu Frama himself. I'd like to go ahead and show you guys what I have equipped. A little bit of my uh, statuses, stuff like that going into this fight. See, Dart's got a Claymore, dra Dragon Helm, Red DG Armor, Bandit Shoes, Magical Ring. Obviously, I'm not using any of the broken equipment because I'm level 60, so I'm already pretty broken. Uh, and you'll see that he has the different magic divine dragoon ball and divine dragoon cannon uh, Rose is where is has this equipped Hatchel has this equipped Albert has all of that uh, Miru has the bash of the magical hat the blue DG armor dancer shoes and attack badge and Miranda has the detonate arrow oh, I didn't show you but that's what he has and then uh, Miranda has the detonate arrow magical hat silver DG armor dancer shoes magical ring guys let's go ahead and challenge final boss of the entire game. Melbu Frama coming at ya! Let's go. Our last battle. I have acquired all. The immortality. And the ultimate power. I am the god. Who purifies the under the fates of determined by Soma. Death to those who rebel against fate. Death to all life. And make the world death less than the world to which I shall ascend. We won't let you. We are the Dragoons. We are ready to fight against fate. Let's go. Here we go. The battle against Melbu Frama begins. The final fight in the entirety of the Legend of Dragoon. This is it. This is going to take a long time. This is one heck of a fight. He's got a ton of health, but more importantly, he's got some of the highest defense and magic defense in the entire game. And trust, this is a very, very long fight. So we do have access to the Divine Dragoon right out of the gate, but we're not going to use that. Instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and throw a speed down on, you know, never mind. I'm not even going to screw it. We're just going to go ahead and attack. Now, Melbu Frama is, uh, doesn't have an element, and he also has these four tentacles around him during this first phase, but we're not going to worry about those. Those have about 2,000 health. Melbu Frama himself has about 9,000. We're going to ignore the tentacles for now. And get a Blazing Dynamo for 1,419 damage. We're going to save all of our power-ups for later. Uh, but we are going to go ahead and use Miranda to cast a spark net. Like, like I was saying, Miranda actually is not as useful in this fight. She'll do okay, obviously, because we can do pretty considerable damage. But I didn't really stock up with items, and she's just not going to do as well as somebody like Hatchel, right? Hey. Yes. Whoops, messed that up, but that's okay. Now, we could use the speed down on this version of Melbu Frama, but it just doesn't matter. You'll see the tentacles are going to attack every so often, but they do so little damage. Instead, we just want to do what we can to save our repeatables. It would help if I actually landed my additions a little bit better here. Go ahead and use another spark net from Miranda. Miranda. 
1,525 from that spark net. I mean, she's still doing considerable damage. Oh, so close to that perky step. You can see that Miru's perky step actually does more damage than Dart right now. Look at this attack. How cool is that? Virage's three of them that we fought before land and attack. And use their beams to damage us. We should be okay, actually. Very little damage done, and Miru completely missing. Beautiful. We'll see that the tentacles actually have, like, formed a shield around him here. And he will counter when you go to attack. But it stops him from being still there, so... There's Perky Step for 2,000 damage. Hatchel, with his Destroyer Mace, would be doing even more damage than Miru. So keep that in mind. Our last spark net against Melbu Frama. Two hundred and thirty-eight percent for one thousand five hundred and sixty-eight. You would think, like I said, I know these numbers seem low, but trust, it's good. It's real good. These tentacles are smashing us, and I'm just not that worried. Let's see if we can beat Melbu without healing once. Yes. Whoops. It would help if I nailed my additions. Such a cool fight. Absolutely love it. Now, we're actually going to go ahead and use a burning wave from Miranda on this. These are the fixed attacks that I was telling you about. That's why I have two of each so that I can actually use them in this fight. The Burning Wave might potentially do enough damage to take out the tentacles. I'm not positive on that. I know a Psych Bomb X would. There we go. Tentacles are destroyed. So they actually have about 1,600 health. Darn. And here we go. The phase. Another thing is that we have to do this kind of slowly because I want to show you guys all of the awesome phases that we get in this Melbu Frama phase uh, uh, fight. What did I say? Anyways, the first one that we have here is the first generation. The cosmos, the origin, the big bang, whatever you want to call it, the first generation. This form has a bit more improved magic defense and, and defense, so you're going to be doing a little bit less damage than you were doing. He's also got a laser strike attack that he'll do and a single target cannon uh, shot that's going to hurt. And he also has the ability to imprison you, which will basically steal you and prevent that character from participating in the fight for a little while. Uh, so keep that in mind. If you attack him when he gathers that person, uh, it's it's no big deal. So we'll go ahead and we'll attack Melbu Frama. Yes! Perfect blazing dynamo. We're gonna go ahead here and start using some of our stat items. Look at that little smack that he does. Again, not an issue. Huh. I also love the way he looks here, and he literally looks like the heart forming, right? I believe that's what he's supposed to be, is it's a heart. He's becoming the Virage Embryo, the God of Destruction. So we're going to go ahead and we're just going to start using our speed down and our power downs and all that now to buff up our party just a little bit. Go ahead and power him down now that we got that speed down as well. And Miru is going to go ahead and we're actually going to use a power up on Dart here. Uh, because I want to show you the power, the beauty of Divine Dragoon. Miranda's going to go ahead, of course, and use the speed up on Dart. The Divine Dragoon has no element attached to it. It's a non-elemental. It does non-elemental damage. We're actually going to go ahead and pop just... You know what? Let's make this fun. This is the Legend of Dragoon, after all. We're going to special. Enjoy the Divine Dragoon transformation.
look at how cool Dart is now. All three Dragoons versus Melbu Frama. And we're going to change the Cosmos to benefit us and go ahead and use a perfect addition. This is actually probably going to do more damage than the cannon attack. Just because of the magic defense that this guy actually has. Look at that amazing addition for 4,286 damage out of Dart. Which will cause him to immediately go into his second generation. This time, we come to a barren planet. One that has been formed, but nothing's growing yet. It's just a rock floating in space. Battling through time itself to destroy a god. This time, it's chaotic. The planet is starting to get an atmosphere. Weather is starting to approach. Earthquakes. The world is forming itself. Mountains, water, rivers. Chaotic, tumultuous. But we're skipping that phase two and going right to the fourth stage. This is pretty crazy. And here we go. The fourth generation Virage embryo starting to form itself into an actual being now. The third generation, uh, this one here actually can do a, uh, the fourth generation, I should say, can actually do uh, these things called bomb stars. It's uh, these little, I'll show them. Hopefully we get there. Anyways, we have a dart yet again, uh, and we don't have the special effect around us, but I believe if we were to go ahead and attack, well, let's find out. We have to do our own divine dragoon. Perfect anyways. Four thousand two hundred and eighty-six damage yet again. Miru is gonna go ahead and use just her a D attack. Perfect yet again. Nice job, Miru. 2,218 damage. Does Perky Step do more than that? Potentially. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and use the... Uh, oh, jeez. We're actually just going to go ahead and attack for now with Miranda. I'm hoping that we can get uh, Dart out of his Dragoon form. Also, look at her Detonate Arrow. Still works even when she's in Dragoon form. 823 damage on her basic attack. It's actually pretty good. Also, I love this attack. He shoots his ball out and it completely misses. Embarrassing, my friend. Anyways, he also in this fight has a command blocker that he can do, which will stop us from doing certain attacks or abilities or items or whatever, which is pretty annoying. Uh, and the things that he summons later could potentially be a problem. Uh, I'd like to go ahead and show you... Well, I want to save the Divine Dragoon Cannon for something later, and I'm going to hold off on the Divine Dragon Ball as much as I can. Let's see if we can get another perfect here. We sure can. What a beautiful attack. Absolutely love it. Good thing we get the Divine Dragoon now, huh? Imagine having that the entire game. I'd be into it. Another perfect out of Miru with her Dragoon edition. That's another 2,000 damage coming out on... Metal move from a... Yippee! Yippee! We'll go ahead and attack again with Miranda. She's still got three more Dragoon levels. Obviously, her White Silver Dragon is going to do a considerable amount of damage, so I'd like to hold off a little bit until uh, I can actually, you know, restore some MP. Already in red health here is Melbu Frama. Oops. That wasn't a perfect. 
1,700 damage on a screwed up one. You know what? I want to see it. Let's go ahead and use the Blue Sea Dragon. Come on, Mibru. We still haven't seen any of the bomb stars that this thing uses. I'm hoping that we can get it before it goes into its final form. It is possible with a with a party of, of Hatchel and Miru and even Rose and Miru. It is possible with with perfect additions to end this fight in the in the basically the first time he transforms in the heart looking guy. You can actually end the entire fight. Let's go ahead and attack again with just our basic attack here for Miranda. Again, I want to be able to make sure that they have MP for just in case. Darts, last attack. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to see him uh, beat any bomb stars with it. If bomb stars do show up, they have about 3,000 health, and they will sacrifice themselves to do damage to you, and it's a little bit, uh, but you don't want to waste your time attacking those. Anyways, I want to go ahead and show you this ability, because if I don't, well, you're not going to see it. This is 50% damage to all, which obviously isn't very useful against a single target like we have here, but I want to make sure you guys can see it. The Divine Dragoon Ball. He actually calls it, by the way, I don't know if you heard that, but he calls it Divine Dragon Egg. Two thousand six hundred and fifty-two damage, and that is it for Dart's Dragoon form. Lucky for us, Blazing Dynamo gives a ton of SP if we need it again. And here we go. We'll never even see its last form. And finally, you get to see the Divine Dragon Cannon. That the God of Destruction is destroyed. Okay, okay, as cool as that would be, I can't actually end the fight there, right? I have to show you the rest of it. Anyways, so I wanted to show real quick that this form that I was talking about does have these bomb stars here. You don't have to uh, worry about those. You don't have to attack them. You don't have to do anything. Eventually, they'll do this. They'll go up. They'll, like, tell you that they're about to go up into the air. They'll explode, and they'll rain down a little bit of fire on everybody. It barely, barely does anything. But anyways, let's move on to the last form that we can deal with. But before we do that, we have to see the fifth generation, which isn't actually a form of him. Instead, it's a form of the world. An absolutely beautiful version. Transformed with life. No longer the chaotic energy of the world forming. Absolutely love it. It's so cool. Of course, we don't get a Virage Embryo at this point. Almost as if to say it was never there. Then we have the sixth generation. This is when humans start to walk the earth. Start to go to war, start to hunt, start to kill. Start to industrialize. Again, we don't face a form of Malbu Frama here whatsoever. 
but it's very cool nonetheless. Of course, it's very weird to me because you don't see anything about like winglies or anything. It's just humans here going to war with each other, fighting, obviously bringing about pure chaos and destruction, even if there's some love there. Which brings us to the seventh generation, the final form of Melbu Frama. This is easily the hardest version that you will have to face. It uses a ton of different high level magic attacks, and it also has the ability to use basically a dragon block staff effect where it will tuck its tail in and make your dragoons way weaker than they normally would be. But if you are, if you only have like one Dragoon level that you can use, one SP level, you can, you know, transform, use the ability you need and then leave without any problems whatsoever. Of course, though, if you are to use a special or something right now, you might be in some trouble. And as you can tell, we're going to be getting hit with a lot of magics right out of the gate. A lot of these you would have actually seen if you fought Vost, including the Frozen Lights. Uh, and, and obviously we're seeing this downburst. Uh, you'll be seeing a lot of magic attacks in this. Now, Melbu Frama in this stage also has the ability to summon in these little monster things that will attack you. They look like each ghost. They're disgusting. Uh, but those actually will... They can have a random effect when dying to use instant death on your party uh, members, which is not good. You can actually, like, entirely ruin a run if those guys get off. So I would just ignore them and instead focus on just Melbu Frama himself. The other thing I should say is that this is it. This is the final battle. Use all of the items at your disposal. You'll never need them ever again. You need healing reins. You have healing reins. Whatever you need to get through this, this boss fight right here, use it. Of course, we have a pretty magic defensive party, so I think we're going to be just fine against this version of Melbu Frama. And considering, you know, I've already beaten the fight without ever getting here, yeah, I think we'll be just fine. Especially when you nail those blazing dynamos. I should also point out that those monsters can also use a different thing, a different attack called impersonating. They'll actually replace one of your allies in battle, and that will give your ally a different new special option, which essentially heals your entire party, uh, which is which is kind of wild. And also, I want to point out this move, which is one of my favorites that Melbu does, pulls you into this dimension here where the wingly form or this other form of Melbu actually comes out and attacks the spirit of your character. Absolutely love it. Such a cool attack. He can also do another thing uh, similar to the Archangel where he summons an army of winglies to come down and attack, which is pretty cool looking. Now this will be the last attack of Miranda and I have to say that this form of Melbu Frama reminds me of the Xenomorphs in Alien so much. I think it's the head. Anyways, let's check out our very well-deserved ending of The Legend of Dragoon. this moment I kept you waiting so long I'm sorry
the time has come. This is the end of our long journey. Zeke! Could you come with me? Yes! I will never leave you again. Look at this. Hatchell teaching Kongol his art. Martel, Martel's children, safe. <laughs> Charlie feeding her man-eating scary plants.
back in the Twin Castle in Fletz. Lisa finally approaching her love as this weird seagull watches over. Back in Lohan, Commodore Cooler. And Miru and Guaraha out experiencing the world of humans. Ceremony in Vale for the wedding of Albert and Emil or Emily. I don't really know. visit Lavitz's mom, the portrait of Lavitz. That's Seagull. Back in Salis. Why would they be rebuilding it? Shauna and Dart back together in Salis. Finally. Together. And home. with violet stripes checking in on everyone thank you guys so much for watching Ooh, I don't know about anybody else but I, I get so emotional at the end of these series So much work, so much fun, so many unique experiences. And I'm so glad you guys watched the series of one of my favorite games of all time. I hope that I was able to give it the love that I think this game deserves. And I hope that for those of you that are new to the game, uh, got to see some of the beauty this game actually gives you. Even if some of my voice acting was a little ridiculous. There's one more scene to see once the credits roll that I feel is pretty important. Something that I'd love for you guys to see. I'm not, I'm not teared up. I'm not crying, you're crying.
one of the best but the song is just oh man but if that didn't break you then maybe this will The spirits of Rose and Zeeg are together again. Thank you guys so much for watching the entire series of The Legend of Dragoon. I sincerely hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, it was one of the most incredible series that I think I've had the chance to do. I'm so proud of it, and uh, I, I'm i really happy with, with you guys being happy with it as well. Thank you very much. And remember, never give up, never surrender to the creator Soa.